That, uh, have that... you ever been swallowed? Up? Have you ever been swallowed? Up? Du- Duane, you're a you're a horror fan. You don't watch horror, do you? I love horror movies. Oh, have you guys seen Mirror? Mirror, mirror. Mirror, the one with uh, Kiefer Sutherland. Mm-mm. Easily one of the top ten, like most like just intense body horror scenes. What year did it come out? Probably like early two thousand. Fifteen, twenty, like teens, early teens, maybe. Oh, I didn't. No, I didn't really watch horror no, 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 no. Early two thousands. Twenty oh nine. It's like the idea is that like the mirrors, like there's like demonic presence in the mirrors or whatever and like what the, they do in the mirrors like happens to you oh i have seen that yeah you remember the one where she's in the bathtub is it not mirrors it isn't be, there one it might be the, mirrors the, the guy yes okay so it's not a guy it's a girl it, that's in the, the bathtub girl? yeah she's sitting in the bathtub and the she was st- looking in the mirror and then she goes in the bathtub and the vision of her in the mirror st- stays in the mirror and the mirror woman grabs her mouth and pulls it open yeah and then in the bathtub she's sitting there and her fucking jaw is getting torn fuck oh god yeah you can't tell me that's not one of the, like the most gruesome no that body was horror scenes. It, but just in general that was a good movie for like horror fans honestly yeah um i don't think i watched that i did not watch that obviously when it came out that was like a Oh, I want to find good horror movies, so I probably looked up like uh, Google that shit. Yeah, good horror movies. Found that one. Yeah, I, I don't remember when I saw it first, but that was like really the only scene I remember, and I was like, holy fuck. Dwayne, you should watch it. We just ruined it for you, but it's great. I think. Uh, did you ever see Mama? Yeah, kind of recent. I thought that was a pretty That's good. That's the one, one too. with um, there the kids are in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. You seen that one? Mama. Yeah. Mama. No. And she's like this in the hallway, just floating in the hallway. And she's basically beckoning the child to come over to her. This is kind of towards the end of the movie. Mama. I'm going to spoil it for you. Spoilers for you guys, too, if you haven't seen this, you know, almost 10-year-old movie. But the kid at this point chooses the demon, the, the uncle and the uncle's girlfriend who have been taking care of them. She chooses the girl over the ghost that was protecting them. And the ghost like, and she's like, no. And then she goes, ah! zooms across the hall, dude. It's one of those things where they just make you stare at it. And then all of a sudden she comes, you know, she comes at you. I'll show you the scene later. Maybe I post it here. Mama. 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 How do they, how do they survive in the, anyways, Welcome. Everybody. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> you couldn't even get it out. <laughs> <laughs> All night. You couldn't even get it out. Do it again. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you ever been in a time of swallowing? If you get that reference, <laughs> like this video. And welcome everybody to the Board and Scale podcast. Another week. Another bunch of games played. Uh, another bunch of words are going to fly out of our mouths about it. <laughs> um, and I'll just start by uh, talking about the games that, uh, that, I, that I played this week that I really like or in the last seven days since we last got together for this. We actually all just played it, and maybe I'm stealing it. Wonderland's War. Um, that is one from Dwayne's list of the top five. I think it's your number two, right? Four. Number four? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought we were skipping way ahead. Dear no. Dear. Okay, that's cool then. But Wonderland's War, it was a really fun. I'll put a picture of put a picture up of it right here. Um, if you haven't played it, yeah, I know. It's really funny. Just gonna look dumb. I know. <laughs> um, but no, it's a game where you are characters from the Alice in Wonderland. Not the Jabberwock story. Apparently, the Jabberwocky is in there. No, he's in the book. He's the, not in. He's a poem. No, he's literally in. The movie. That doesn't count. The Johnny Depp one? Yeah, that's not the point. He oh, said the know. book, the original book. It's no, a, it's did you say poem. the book? I thought you said he's not in the movie. Oh, no, somebody no. said that he's not in it. No, he's not in the book. Yeah, that's he's, what I meant. He's like, he's not a part of the regular story. Oh. He comes from... No one reads. Who cares? A <laughs> poem, a nonsense poem about... My uh, jaws that bite. Yeah. My claws that catch. Oh, like a Dr. Seuss dark... Like a Dr. Seuss. Dark. Oh, yeah. 
It's a it's a nonsensical poem that makes no sense. You're and a nonsensical poem. I am a nonsensical poem, and um, which is why like people when when you say the word Jabberwocky, like Jabberwocky is something that like has no context or no meaning on its own. Really good dancers too. Yep, and um, it's actually given us a couple other words uh, that we use in in common common lingua, like uh, galumphing. The fuck? It was a no made-up word. Don't say common poem. lingo. No <laughs> one says, and then follow that up with galumphing. galumphing. <laughs> no one, yeah, no one. Yeah, so I went to the mall the other day and I was galumphing about. <laughs> you don't galumph around. <laughs> galumphing about my local game store. Yeah. No, this poem is amazing. Common. <laughs> I galumphed. If galumphing, you've never read the, if you've never read, read Jabberwocky, the poem, go read it. Emphatic. Emphatic? That's his favorite word. Mm. Word of the year for Kev. Full stop, period. Period, full stop. Lock and clear all bullshit. There you go. Wrong like... (laughs) (laughs) You can't say that. (laughs) You're not allowed. Wow. I don't know how to say it. If it matters, I don't know what they're referencing now. That's that's an an inside joke between the two outside. Yeah. That's kind of good, huh? (laughs) The person inside doesn't know the inside joke. <clears throat> Anyways, so, Wonderland, Wonderland War. War. Yeah. Uh, you're playing the characters from Alice in Wonderland. You are uh, doing a tea party phase in which you're going to be collecting cards that will give you the ability to place your supporters out onto different regions of the board, which you'll be fighting for control uh, over. And <laughs> keep going, just keep going. You'll also be collecting different allies that have different abilities. There's four different sets of abilities. You also have the opportunity. I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> Somebody's swallowing you up. <laughs> <Just keep, laughs> I got to get over it. Just keep going. <laughs> you also have the opportunity to upgrade your character's abilities <laughs> and gain access to different uh, Wonderlandians that are in a deck of cards that also have different abilities. Sometimes they can help in fights. Sometimes they help with uh, strength getting pulled out of your bag. Uh, and then from the Tea Party phase, you go into the War phase, in which you go region by region, drawing uh, tokens out of your bag, increasing your strength in the battle, until you either win or you bust out and lose and get nothing, and then you cry. And you do that five times. Once for each region. And then you do that whole thing three times. And, uh, spoiler alert, I won. So maybe influence is my highlight play of the week. But... I also just really enjoyed playing the game, even when I didn't uh, have a feeling that I was looking pretty well in the lead. So yeah, that's mine. Yeah, be sure to tune in to the uh, Battle of the Games recap video for that, which will come out at some point. Yeah. It will come out... Actually, it'll already up. It'll be up by the time this video is posted. It'll be up. When is the Obsession one coming out? I lied. Look for it a few days. <laughs> Look for that a couple of days after this video is up. Yeah. Threw me off my train. Sorry. It was okay. I don't want you to be a liar. To What's all, your highlight? To all, all our adoring fans. Maybe I lie anyway and just put it up beforehand. And then they have a double bonus episode. There you go. <laughs> bonus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or maybe clockwise. Mm, clockwise. <clears throat> I'm gonna steal Dwayne's though. <gasps> it's not clockwise. Depends on how the clock looks or where you're looking at the clock from. The clock's upside down. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I'm the the center of the clock. If I'm the center of the clock and you guys are on the outside, then you're nine. Dude, if you're the center of the clock, well, that's the, no. Yeah, that would be if twelve. If twelve's over no, there, no, that'd be six. It has to be their be perspective way. because, huh? Right, I'd be on the. I'm on the. I'm They're nine. At us. He's three. So clockwise, so that would, would be like twelve over there. And but you're for the middle. There's no reference point from where oh, we started. Shit. You'd have to be more. Li- it'd be more <laughs> along the lines. No, so here's the problem because it's more like a triangle. Because if you were sitting over there, clockwise would be this way. If you were sitting further behind us, clockwise would be him. A triangle, right? Yeah, but I'm saying we're like this, and I'm in the middle, and you guys are three and nine. Yeah, that doesn't work for clockwise, though. That so doesn't Because is... if you are the middle, that's not a reference point <laughs> oh. <laughs> for the clock. 
You have to look at it again. You just go next, okay? You just go next. <laughs> <laughs> next. All right. Uh, so I'm stealing this one. I'm Dwayne will talk more about it too, I'm sure. Yeah, sorry, bitch. Um, Kutnohora. Motherfucker. Um, okay. It's funny because <clears throat> you guys have a copy right here in the shrink. Shrinked I have up. a copy that I bought on Miniature Market on their daily sale. On the way? Yep. No, it's it's uh it's not on the way because it's uh, I did customer hold, so oh, okay. I'm waiting for it to ship. Uh, <laughs> so the only person who actually has a copy that's opened uh, is Dwayne. Who's Dwayne? Yeah. Uh, but hey, don't spit that out. <laughs> you better be swallowing it up. <laughs> but Kunora, really fun game. Um, I don't even know how I would describe all of its different pieces and components, and I'll let Dwayne kind of elaborate on it, but. Uh, really, really, really saturated with theme. Um, really, really drove the theme of a of a Czech, Czech uh, silver mining town, uh, like home to the point where there were a couple pieces of the game where it's like, maybe this is too much. Like the was it the patrons, like thematically, thematically, like they were like you could tell that they were they were trying to add additional thematic pieces to the game that added more rules and it was just kind of like without more depth. I mean it, no, I mean it did add more depth. Like, don't get me wrong. It wasn't unwelcome once you understood it, but like there was a certain point when like I was listening to Dwayne teach the game and it was like, okay, like you could have, like they could have just stopped. Like, like this one chunk of the game is probably like, I don't know, maybe a bridge too far. But honestly, when it was all said and done, I mean, it kind of worked out okay because, like, you would understand by the time you really had to engage with that piece of the game, which they're called patrons, right? Mm -hmm. But by the time you have to engage with the patrons, patriarchs, 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 patriarchs. yeah, yeah, whatever it was, like, you had to partitions, something like that. It's not partitions, patricians, patrician, no, the pediatrician, patricians would be patrons, patrician, patrician. The pediatrician. Pa- the patrician <laughs> the patrician class would that doesn't make sense. They would have been patrons most likely. Um, because they'd been patrons of the specific guilds that you were um the colors, right? At any rate. Um but by the time you had to actually like do anything with them, you actually understood most of the rest of the game. So it didn't feel as bad, um, like from a complexity point of view. Um uh, but the game was also pretty unforgiving. Um, in some ways where like if you didn't understand it your first time and you chose the wrong path, you were just broke and Oof. couldn't make any money. And um, <clears throat> so some of the players that played with us um, didn't do as well and, and struggled a little bit in, at times. But um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful game as far as like the theme, really well done. Um, I was surprised. Yeah. Did it come with deluxe stuff? Deluxe-ish. Yeah, so it's... We have a promo for it. From PAX. <clears throat> you see it? That came in the game. This is in mine. Oh. Is it really? Or actually, you know what? This card might not be. Uh, yeah, I thought it was. Never mind. This card might not be. So each of the players has uh, um, plastic like village pieces and things like that. So these are actually in like two player or a double mat or a double layer. Oh, boards. double layer boards. Um, so I think the only like upgrade put them together, though. is the metal metal coins. If you want to get metal coins, I think that's the only upgrade, right? Mm-hmm. So I did see them there, but I, we didn't know enough about the game to be like, okay, we want to invest in these. I mean, especially with your guys' uh, iron clays. I mean, it just, they replace so much. Yeah. You know, they're so nice and they just can fit almost any game. They can fit any game. They especially fit like Obsession. Yeah. They especially boost Arc Nova because otherwise Arc Nova just has those black squares. Worst currency. So strange. Worst That's currency so choice weird. in a game ever. Love the game, but come on. <laughs> Is you, do you think that was a choice because they wanted to make the game less about money and like kind of demonetize the idea of zoos and make it more about conservation? So like take physical currency out of the game and like replace it with a substitute for that? I've never ever once thought of that, but that would be the only reason that makes sense. To get the money out of I mean, the conservation idea of is a big part of it. I know, but so again, that's like, what he's saying. Like, yeah, to take like, money away from the idea, like you're not there to make money. Well, you know what, Kev, that might just be emphatically true. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Full stop. Emphatic. 
Um, all right. Dwayne, would you like to pile on? Yeah. Pick another um, one. I was... No. Oros. Another time for Oros. You can't. Say, you can't you, unless you play it next week. Well, I'll no. play it next week. Technically, we played it last Thursday. Not this Thursday. Not yesterday, but the, the Thursday before that. So The day before we recorded last time? Yeah. Dang. I mean, that got overshadowed by T.I., so yeah. I'd, I'd give it a buy. I'll just keep going on Kutnahara. All right. Um, first off, Kutna. super surprise, coming from me at least, it is not in my realm of games whatsoever. Not theme-wise, not look-wise. It's like, it's dark. No animals. No animals. No colors. Mining. No it's nature. about economy. It's like totally off the script for something like me. It's black. And oh man, when I played it, dude, like in the middle of the game, I was like, this shit rocks. And it was and like, you were surprised. Yeah, you it was like, like Kanban, like dude. Like after I played it, it stuck with me for like a couple days. Um, That's such a great feeling. The components are really nice, too. Like it's re it's what they call it. Rewood or what those pieces are. It's so fun. they're like little wooden wooden pieces that look really nice. They feel pretty good. That was wood? Yeah. It felt like plastic. It's like some kind of like re refer like, like re recycled recycled wood. Yeah, maybe sure. like mixed in with resin. Yeah. And then like the game also looks nice. Like everything's kind of got this like gloss onto it. Mm -hmm. Um but like as far as the game itself, like Yeah, like you said, it is pretty tough. Like if you if you lag behind, you're like, oh what oh man, I'm doing rough. <laughs> Um, like if you can't make money, money's money's the game pretty much. Yeah, the the, well, the silver, right? Well, yeah. so so yeah. the the crazy thing is is that this has got a super weird. I don't know you guys are the gonna, city of probably silver. won't be able to see it, but like I'll put a picture up. The um the <laughs> the way that the economy works in the game is that like there's population cards behind the two different um economy tracks, and then the economy tracks slide left to right. So you've got a variety of different things where like the price of like wood can go up. And so you don't actually like necessarily like gain, you're not spending resources, you're buying resources. So the only resource mm -hmm. that you actually like use on a regular turn is, is the currency. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Groschen. Groschen. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. um, <laughs> Money. And, and uh, so like if the, the price of wood goes up, you have to pay more to build something. It's like it's super cool because like yeah. when population goes up, the demand goes up. Mm -hmm. But the more you make of it, it gets cheaper. Right. So when you sell, so like you you produce stuff, but you know when you take an income action, you know depending on where that is, you may have you may get less, so you make it more. You get taxed. Um, there's no taxes, fortunately, in the game. There are. Every every round. Oh, that that's right. It's not tax. It's um. Is that what it was called? Mm -hmm. Taxes. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. At the end of I every round, you, you got to pay butt. taxes. Yep, you got to pay taxes. Or yeah. you don't, and you lose rep. Yeah, which is also a very nice part of, which can alleviate some things. Wow. Honestly, incentivizing federal crime. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Honestly. No, it's it, it. You you're losing your rep if you don't pay taxes. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I actually forgot my favorite part of the game. Saint Barbara. <laughs> so one of the uh, one of the like um, pieces of the game is 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 basically building um, a church to Saint Barbara, and it's just in the game. It's just called Saint Barbara, uh, but uh, Saint Barbara is the patron saint of the field artillery. And I am a member of the Honorable Order of Saint Barbara. The trebuchet. Arti yes, artillery. Did she you know didn't that become, the trebuchet did, is a superior siege weapon? To what? Catapult. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> Couldn't go further. Throw heavier stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in Age of Empires. What is it? What does it use? As what, a do you, like, what do you do? Like, this is a giant boulder coming at you. It's like, well... This is it, I guess. <laughs> you, you, unlike you, just turn into mush. Unlike yeah. the movie Prometheus, you run to the right or left. You just dodge. 
<laughs> don't follow the trail. Yeah. yeah. Just, <laughs> no. just move slightly to the right. <laughs> That's what just happens happen. in um, Lord people, of the Rings. People back when trebuchets were made didn't have peripheral vision, so they were just like, they saw something coming, they're like, They no. moved like chess pieces, just they <laughs> always stayed forward exactly. facing. Exactly, no dot. No. Yeah, the, especially the pawns, they can only move forward and back unless yeah. they were attacking. Actually, no backwards, they just run straight into the friggin' ball. Mm-hmm. Turn and they into, can only turn into they crane. can only sprint when they first start moving. Yeah. After that, they just gotta walk. Yeah. yeah. Can't get tired. And then if you're face to face, good luck. <laughs> just... Stare at each other. There should be a trebuchet in chess. A chess in chess. Chess humor, baby. Uh, that'd be interesting. You can like, house rule it. Make make different. Uh, like add new pieces. Like add a whole third row. The Have trebuchet like, can launch upon. <laughs> <laughs> you get it to the back row. Turn it into a queen. Exactly. Mm. Oh, for whoever designed the Queen's Gambit, it turns wanna, into a dexterity game. You actually got to flick it. <laughs> is you're going to combine chess and um, what's catapult the feud? Catapult feud, yeah, whatever that game is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Kutna, what was your highlight? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I really liked it. It was really good. All right. Well, that's our highlight games for the. Uh, Last seven or so days since we last met. What else do we have, Kev? Oh, you want to do a thing before we do trivia? No, it's okay. We'll jump into trivia and let Kev prepare. No, I got it ready. It's right oh, okay. here. Okay. Uh, this is actually Dwayne's idea, I think. Oh no, 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 no. This one was mine. Never mind. I'm not giving you credit. It's mine. Uh, <clears throat> so we keep talking about games that we like, but what about games you refuse to play ever again? Oh, for that, oh, I could say this right here. For them, it's probably Tricarian because I love it so much. <laughs> and they're like, I just, they they just hate the amount that I enjoy that game so much. That, and they hate seeing me happy. It's true. So I pulled out Tricarian and they <clears throat> said, who bought this crappy game? Who wasted all their money on this abomination of a design? And I'm just holding it like this. <laughs> but it's my game. <laughs> okay, I, t- I spent my day off. But I like the game. Playing this game. I like game. I like the game. Uh, actually, you know, it's kind of my real answer. Mostly because it was such a letdown is probably evacuation. Really? I figured you were going to say that. Yeah. It was just such a letdown. I was so hyped up for it. Damn. Yeah. I thought you liked it more like when we, because like you've said this a couple times now on the pod. And I know I keep I, I'm, I don't mean to keep <clears throat> pooping on it. It's just well, no, no. But like I, I it's weird to me because when we played it, I thought you were more excited about playing the game in the future. Like, I know you weren't going to pre-order it or anything like that, but I thought you were like more ready to play it again, mm-hmm. like because you wanted to incorporate some of the additional stuff because we couldn't get everything. We played I played three times. Really? Yeah. You guys played twice before me? Yeah. The okay. first time was like, dang, did we? I did not like that. Okay. Second time, okay, I like I know a little bit better how to play the game strategically, but it was not fun. Okay. Third time with you, I was like, nah, Interesting. not for me. Yeah, I gave it, and that I gave it three tries. You know, that's fair. I mean, three tries is is plenty enough to 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 give a game a fair shake. I mean, if you don't like it after that, especially it's not a game where. The difficulty is the complexity, right? You're like, oh, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this game. Yeah. Because it's not, it's it's complex enough that you need a second play, I think. But, yeah, that's interesting. Should take it off my pre-order list then. I thought you liked it, but you weren't going to order it. And I was like, well, maybe I'll pick it up and I'll make them happy. That's sweet of you, Kev. Yeah. Well, but I would have really, I would, you would have brought it and I would have spit on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is this? No, I'm kidding. I, I just, I just, three times is enough. I'm not going to buy it. Yeah. You know? Well, and I'm not going to buy it either then. <laughs> Sorry, you'll never get to play it. You're not missing much. It's, it's fine. Yeah. I'm okay. It was a fine game. I thought it was okay. It was unique. It was interesting. I did win. I helped. But I don't know. Yeah, it was one of those ones I was hoping maybe a couple more plays, but yeah. Well, now I feel bad. Mm. 
well, I was kind of hoping to spend some quality time with you. And, um, <laughs> no. So I got the game. It's looking forward to, you know, surprising you. But uh, it's not going to happen now. So It's okay. Well, there's this new Kickstarter coming out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I probably backed it. It's okay. I know, right? God damn. All right, Daniel. Wait, you never... Bur- mm. He gets to go first. Oh, okay. Yeah. I went first last time. Burn me at the stake. <laughs> Spirit Island. <clears throat> no, that's fine. Okay. Doesn't oh yeah, that doesn't me that shit doesn't surprise me coming from you guys. Me and you are cool. Yeah, yeah. I won't. I won't. I won't play Spirit Island. I'm again. sure it's a fine game. I just don't. Cra- I don't care about co-ops. And it, it's like it's like it should be. It should be. Other than co-op, it should go right up my alley. It's bright. It's colorful. Yeah. Fucking nature filled, taking back filled with what's theme. what's theirs from the from the colonizers. <laughs> Is it the mechanics? Besides um, that, it's co-op. Do you also that, just don't don't like the game? It's a it's like to me when I played it, it was it was a lot. Like two like two thirds into the game, I was like, I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> like I'm just having whoever I was playing with kind of just lead me through like my turns. And I was just like, because it's a co-op and they can do that. Yeah, and it's just like I don't know what I'm doing. And when they show me, I'm like, I still I like I don't know why. Like, yeah, I see what happened, but it was like, I don't know why I would have done that at that time if it was up, if the choice was up to me. I so mean, I like, I just really, I just really wasn't getting it. And I was just like, and then it's, it's, the whole time I'm just like, I got that. I'm just waiting for it to hey, over. The reasons he doesn't like Spirit Island are the exact same reasons he doesn't like Tricarian. It's not co-op. Yeah. That's okay. No. Nope. <laughs> There's just certain games with a with a certain I won't say it's not even like a complexity level. It's a certain type of complexity that I think Dwayne doesn't like. That's true because you do like you, you like Kanban and that's one you know mm-hmm. I have your game. I think yeah. if I think it's if I just can't Clock if I can't get it to shit and you run that if I can't get it I get frustrated. Dude, I think that's totally fair. I don't think I mean if like, it doesn't click. Yeah, yeah. Like one of the things is, is like we've played a. Sh- Absolute bucket load of games, right? She like my sense of myself there. <laughs> it's a family, family show. <laughs> uh, and I think at this point, like we're all pretty smart guys. So to to <laughs> you said we're all pretty smear, <laughs> pretty smear. You know, so to encounter a game that you're like, I'm really not sure I understand how to win this game or like what I should be doing. I think that gets really frustrating for a person who's played a lot of games and is generally intelligent. And like, cause I, and again, I'm the exact same way. Like I'm a pretty fucking smart dude. And if I'm playing a game and I'm like, I can't figure this out. Like I do not understand what I'm supposed to be doing or how I should win or like how I can like get a competitive edge. But then it's frustrating. It's like, there's some where it's like, I didn't really get it. Let's, let's do it again at some point and maybe it'll click. Like, but carry on and 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 spirit island i'm just like you don't think that's gonna be it I, no it's just like i don't i i don't really care to try again like yeah. and because also it was just like it was long too like it was very long it took us like you guys got here at noon 30 ish probably an hour to teach and then we didn't finish till like six yeah i'm call it we call it like four hours. We also, four and a half hours. Yeah. Like always, like for anyone who ever listens to like the time, like the amount of time that we play, like our play times are always like two hours longer than like the recommended time on the game because there's a lot of other stuff going on in the house and like people like literally stopping to make dinner for children. So like there's a lot of stuff going on. So don't don't be like, oh my God, this game takes six hours. Like, no, not normally. We also just take really Take yeah. our sweet time. Take our time. So. At the house, yeah. At the, here at the house, yeah, especially. We're just trying to, like, do what needs to be done and also play a game. So, yeah. Different where I buy potion, you know. Sure. Less distractions. Yeah, less distractions. We're all just surviving on uh, the liquid death <laughs> drinks <laughs> and the fig, the fig bars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Spirit Island. That's mine. Mm. Muffin time. 
Come on, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> that's that's I'm gonna that's that's not a real game. That's like saying Uno. Yeah. <sighs> you can't count like a like a party game. It's got to be like a game that is like acclaimed, you know. Because obviously you can be like, I'm never playing Candyland again. <laughs> that's that, that's fair, but Muffin Time isn't that. Yeah, it is. Muffin Time is not Candyland. Like Candyland is in a different like classic category. Muffin Time knows it's stupid, and like that's what it's going for. Yeah, it's like it's like. I won't say Cards Against Humanity. It's like Exploding <laughs> Kittens. Like, yeah. like it's like it knows what it is. Well, no, but Exploding Kittens at least is mercifully short. <laughs> is Muffin Time long, dude? It can literally go on forever. There's there's Damn. one card in the game where it's like just start pack the it game up, over. restart. Yeah, and that game that card gets recycled into the deck, so you could literally just play Odd Finatum. You're such a nerd, dude. <laughs> You this can, you granted can play though, Fanny Adam. This was but be- this was before I knew Kevin and his tastes. So like I just whipped it out because it was also at one of the it was also with one of the groups that like these are the games that we center around uh, like yeah. almost. Oh, trust me, I, I'm like aware that there's like like there are certain like environments where there are certain people at where like okay, this is going to be a lighter feel for games and whatnot. And I'm probably not going to have as much fun, so. Probably not going to go to those nights versus like, <laughs> oh, hey, cool. Like, and if I go here or come here, I know I'm going to get to play something that's got meat on the bone. Yeah. So I got to think. So I got to think of something that's a meaty game. Muffin that time I so if you ever want to play, play like with Kevin, leg. do not bring him a game that is lower than a 3.5 <laughs> on the complexity <laughs> scale for BGG or he will slap you. <laughs> that's not entirely true. That's not entirely true. Oh, see, now that you ruined it, I got to think now. I actually don't know. That was know. not emphatically true. That was that was <laughs> emphatically not true. Period. Yeah. Full stop. 3.5. Semicolon. Bust. I'm picking bust Oxford every time. comma. Huh? Oxford comma. What's that one? Is that the one on top? No. No, it's the one that precedes an and. What? It's like... It's like it's when you have a it's list. It's like saying, "Do you want eggs, orange juice, and toast?" Yeah. So I if love, you say, "I love orange juice," so if you say eggs, comma, orange juice and toast with no comma, or eggs, comma, orange juice, comma, and toast. So the comma, the Oxford comma, is the final comma in that that separates. The final two pieces of that clause, right? So no, I don't do that. Yeah, you're wrong. So why? Because if you have the clause, eggs, comma, orange juice and toast, you could imply that you are putting orange juice on your toast because it's orange juice and toast. Or nah. Or you have it separate and you say. Be a normal human and think right. I think that's one of those so, things where like <laughs> extra smart people are like, technically, I could put orange juice in your toast because of the way you asked me that question. Yes. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> law have has weighed in on the subject. <laughs> there have been actual court cases that have been ruled certain ways because of the presence or lack thereof of an Oxford comma. Dude, judges and lawyers agreement. are the absolute Biggest nerds on the in the country. Yes, <laughs> this I would uh, look. I can't like it was a, it was a f- like an absolutely f- it was flabbergasting when I first learned that there were people who uh, grew that's a up new one? flabbergasting. <laughs> <laughs> My guests have been flabbered. <laughs> <laughs> flabbergasting that people grew up not knowing about the Oxford comma. Like I, my education was like, look, this is not optional. Like this is a required piece of of of, of your take your off writing. five points of that paper. No I would, Oxford dude. It, absolutely. If you if you were one of my students and I got a oh, did not use it, God. I would absolutely. Yo, dude, uh, Mr. Momquist, Doctor, f- Doctor Momquist, fucking sucks. <laughs> Yo, never take his class, his course. Um, I, dude, I went to school, high school education here. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> my math class, my teacher, because it was my first class, and I I just was not. I, I was a, a child that did not care about school and I yeah. did not want to go there. We also had uniforms enforced at our school. Cat lickers? Huh? That sounds racist. <laughs> I did. Okay. Cat, Catholic. 
No. Not a Catholic school. No, just they don't want gang activity, so you were forced <laughs> to wear gracious. the school colors only. But whoop, I never whoop. did that. I wore a hoodie all day, even in the 105 degree heat, because I didn't want to wear a stupid polo. And he just said, as long as you just show up at some point, I'll give you a 70. That's just show up at some point during the hour that you're supposed to be here. That's a low bar. He said, I'm not going to ask you to do any work. Just don't bother the other students. So I would show up probably 15 minutes late, put my head down and go to sleep. And then I, I graduated high school on time. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Well, it's growing up in South Texas. <laughs> What's your game? <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Honestly, I'm having a hard time thinking about what it might be. Is it Tricarian? No, I play. I, told, I just told you earlier. I would. I don't think I would ever ask to play Tricarian. But if you were ever like, "Hey, I want to play Tricarian," I would be like, "All right, let's go." It's just to, again. I mean, I for the people who haven't heard. Um, my my only complaint, my only real complaint about Tricarian is is that there is it's a really tight action economy, and there's a lot of room for error if you don't have like a really 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 deep understanding of the rules and how the mechanisms work and like oh I you know I should play this card then this card and if I do this and like iconography on cards and certain things that you just kind of forget about if you're not being actively engaged with them. I just played the game and I completely forgot my character's ability the entire game. And it's an ability I could have used on every single turn. That is just, and it's just printed on your thing. But there's also like some ambiguous symbology. I'll give you that too. Like the mm -hmm. thing that Kenzie brought up where the symbols are the same, but they mean different things. Yep. And you don't know that until you go and you <clears throat> dig through the rule book, which is like a pretty dense rule book and go and find the one note that is buried, you know, in the end yeah. of the section that says, by the way, this means this and this means this. They're different, you know. There's also a sh just a shit ton of information. We're, we're yeah. done, we're, you know. Yeah. There's so much information going on that you have to be aware of on your own, in your own play area, in your own space, the decisions that you're trying to make. Why am I going to go for I'm going for this. I'm going for that. Um, to the point where you don't really have the latitude or a lot of mental space to really be thinking about what the other players are doing. Do you have the longitude too? <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of latitude, but no longitude, or the other way around. Um, but, you know, and that can become really detrimental because you're like, oh, I didn't realize that you were going for the same trick that I was, or the same this or that or the other thing. And you can put a lot of energy into something to not have it, you know, to be beaten to something. Um, and it's just difficult to spend that much time and energy in your own space and then to be forced to look somewhere else as well. Um, and as we've mentioned, like, I think the more you play the game, the more comfortable you get with it, the more that will be there. But the question is, is in a two to three hour game, how many times do you want to play this game and struggle through it before it clicks? Or do you just want to go back to playing games you, you know, you enjoy? Go back to playing games you know you enjoy? And I think that's, I think that's going to be the answer for a lot of people, right? Is that they're just going to like, Hey, I'd, you know, especially if I give when you, a, you have 400. Yeah, yeah, or even two hundred and fifty. We don't. I don't think we have that many. You don't? I don't think so. I think we're probably around one fifty. I'm over two fifty. I'm somewhere around two fifty now. Yeah. Yeah. What's what really sell, adds sell to that is those game. bottom little crates that I have that are full of small box games. Oh yeah, no, I bet. I don't have too many small games. That's the only. That's the drawback. Um. Can't wait to play Hegemony, and you guys I hate that one too. Moving on, you can have Muffin Time. I don't know. I'm we'll trying just to give him muffin time. It's funny because I'm trying to. I'm really am trying to think of other games where I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm just never gonna play this, or I don't want to. Like now, there's there's games I've sold, but those don't really count. Like if you brought Kabuto Sumo out, I guess I'd play it. I just play that with like my my non gamer mm -hmm. little brothers. No, I totally understand. Like it has it has a place. It's got a charm. But like, you know what? I take that back. I do have a good answer. I would never play Commands and Colors again. So GMT Games game, yeah, and um, you it's a historical battle. So they've got three different series, no, four different series: Ancients, Napoleon, Medieval, and Samurai. 
and it's all about recreating like historic battles and stuff. Um, and it's just got a ton of asymmetric information in it. And like, it's weird because like I'm a military history guy, right? Like it's my bread and butter. But for some reason, like having to sit down with it and being like, oh, okay, well, you've got heavy cavalry on open terrain and you're doing a turning maneuver against uh, light pikemen on uneven terrain. And, uh, you Dang. know, you get this extra special rule and this thing happens and it's 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 a lot of the same stuff. The problems you get with like a big full on tabletop game like Warhammer where you're like, I have to check like eight different rule sets or whatever to like, well, okay, I think this is... I'm, it's not that bad, but it's bad enough where I'm like, <sighs> it's I'm, more just you making sure your simulation is running correctly. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, maybe it feels too much like work. I don't know, but, um, yeah, I don't enjoy it. I, I'm still trying to sell, um, a bunch of the copies that I have, but yeah, that, that would actually, yeah, that's my game. That's my game. I won't play it again. Even if somebody brought it to me and they're like, Hey, let's play commands and colors. I'd be like, Boop. I'm good. Okay. I'll go knit. We don't really know anyone that, or I don't know anyone that like loves GMT games. My buddy, like, my buddy Mike, who got me into board games, um, he's a big GMT guy, and um, he's he likes Commands and Colors. Did he get the Mr. President game? Probably not. I really, I really want that one. It's like a twelve-hour solo <laughs> game <laughs> where you play through your four years of the presidency, but it is so so involved. Like you have, like literally the, the 12, game. Wait, hold on. 12 years of a presidency? No, it's 12 hours. Oh, 12 hours. I was like, what? Yeah, you play <laughs> it with the four years of a presidency. And it's like, you, your, your board is like literally this entire table. Um, and like a year is you going through like, okay, let me start with this section. And I'm going to do this here, which will let me do this here. I'm going to do this over here, which will let me activate these troops in this part of the world. That and that activation there reflects or not reflects, but affects my political standing with this group. And because I affected this political group standing, now I have to move down this track in my reputation, you know, just like it's like some every single aspect North of a Africa presidency campaign. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like every aspect of a presidency is, is represented somehow, you know, even go through having advisors elected and, you know, and like moving on through the thing and then they affect your game differently but it just looks i don't know i'm not even a solo gamer i do think that'd be fun to sit down all of us and do the presidency together and make decisions like no we do we shouldn't do that because trio president because this is gonna be blah blah blah. we have to make sure that we're putting (laughs) troops down because that conflict over there is getting out of control you know so you would turn a solo game into a co-op game into yes you would willingly turn a solo game into a 12-hour co-op game yes for the experience i i don't want to play a co-op game that is like you know a two-hour i'm i'm being quarterbacked i want the president thing to be a, an argument <laughs> mm-hmm. really you know like and maybe it won't be right because i don't want it to be like oh we have a especially because Potentially, there would be three of us, right? We we have tiebreaker. Sure. Yeah. Voting on things. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Democracy. There you go. The um, quick comment. You talk about like the quarterbacking in, in um, co-op games and like why you guys, like part of the reason you guys don't like co-op games is, you know, that whole thing. How often have you played co-op games where everybody has an equal advanced understanding of the game? Never, and that's my problem. A couple times. Because my the co-ops that I have played aren't super in-depth or complicated. The most complicated co-op that i played was spirit island okay so like and that was me in the role of sure. not understanding well no i mean spirit island like nothing for nothing is a pretty complex game especially when you get into like further on with your abilities and being like all right well if i play 
this card, then this card, then I get these symbols activated, and then these symbols are in place, so I can do this. But if I do this instead of this, then I can attack this. But this thing is going to pop off at this time. There's no need to worry about this, so I should do this instead. Hey, what are you doing? Can you affect what I'm doing? Can you add something to me? Like, there's there's a lot of that. Um, but it's interesting because I think if you actually played games where you didn't have to quarterback people, I think you might enjoy it more. I will say it, it, it is possible, but we we like did our best because we played with like other gamer gamers mm -hmm. to not quarterback, right? <clears throat> to like maybe make suggestions, but not be like, you know, you should do this. Don't do that. Right. Um, Atlantis Rising, which is down here. We just played that the uh, couple weeks ago. Atlantis Rising, if you guys haven't played it. Terrible game. It is a really good co-op game, in my opinion. See, it's funny. I actually don't think it's a good co-op game. And you like co-ops. And I like co-ops. That's funny. That yep. is funny. To me, it's very. it, it feels very much like the standard co-op. There's not a whole lot. You know, the bad guys take turns in between, and, you know, it's all terrible, and you've... Yeah, I... The, the interactions and stuff that you could do with like, oh, I have player powers and things like that. Like, I don't know. There there wasn't a lot of meat on the bone. We played it, what, two weeks ago? Something like that. Yeah. I, uh, it was my first introduction to it and I didn't enjoy it. But, you know, quarterbacking is comes in two flavors, right? There's, there's type A personalities who like dominate the play. Like, you will do this. I need you to do this. You need to do this. You need to do that. And they're just playing everyone's a, a four handed players uh, solo game. Exactly. I've been guilty of that. Totally. 100%. Oh, surprising. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I don't think that's I don't think that's all of it though, right? That's <laughs> like you can get to a point where like if you like people are going to feel the need to do that if you as the other like a new player don't know anything about the game. They can be like, "Hey, these are your options. These are your choices. These are things you can do. This is if you do this, this will have this effect. I'm going to try to do this, so if you can do something to support it, whatever." Right. But, you know, once you are confident and you know the rules and you know how to do the game, I would hope that those kind of players would be like, all right, you know, like, hey, like, I think we should, like, hey, this is a broad strategy. This is how we should attack the game. Like, hey, this is how I see the problem. I'm going to do this on my turn. Like, what do you, what do you think you're going to do? You know, and just have a conversation about it rather than you really need to do this. Yeah. Oh, you should do that. You have to do this. You have to do yeah. I, I will throw a game if someone's like, no, don't do that. You should do this instead. <laughs> I'd be like, actually, I'm going to do the worst thing possible. <laughs> you, know what, you know what really made me realize I hate both sides of the coin? Pandemic. Mm. I was playing with like, this was like way early in my playing and I was like still trying to get my family to be gamers. Um, and I knew I was going to have to quarterback. Mm. I just knew it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do my best to, like, give them options and let them make a decision, right? Mm -hmm. And just explain, this is what you can do, so what do you want to do? And then to just get this look of, like, now what? <laughs> now what do I do? And I'm like, well, you can do these things and these things. And they'd be like, well, what do I do then? And I'm like, it's your, you're supposed to make the decision, you know? <laughs> like... And you could just, I could just tell that they were like, I don't care about this at all. So why are you making me do this? And I was like, you know what? The, the interesting, I'm never doing that again. The interesting thing, I think my observation is that co-ops and social deduction games have the same problem. And the same thing that makes them also really good, potentially. And it's about who you play them with. Yeah. Because I have seen people do live playthroughs of Blood on the Clock Tower and like the way they play it and the people that they're like interacting with. I'm like, yeah, I'd hate that shit too. Like if that was my experience with Blood on the Clock Tower, I would hate the game. Hate yeah. it. But because I, I get to play with people who, who approach it differently and approach it in a fun and fun way and whatnot and like a pretty good storyteller. You awaken to someone who has been swallowed up. <laughs> <laughs> And his remains have been regurgitated. Yeah. He underwent a time of swallowing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what would the blood on the clock tower player be? 
the ba- has ability to swallow another player. Balguth. It's the Shabaloth. Sorry, that guy. What's Shabaloth. the Shabaloth? The demon. That I know. It, what does it, it do? It eats two people each night. It eats but it them? can it can regurgitate one uh, at some point. No, I want a minion who has the ability to consume a character and get their ability, a player at night, and then get their ability during the day. That's an outsider. It's the cannibal. They've thought of everything. <laughs> What, so, hey, someone in that idea room, in the game design room, was writing down. What if we had a character that <laughs> swallows <laughs> up? <laughs> what if the townsfolk were at risk of going through a time of swallowing? swallowing. <laughs> yeah, that's how you Jim, it's, so, it's so weird, though. Jim, why I are you wearing a purple robe? <laughs> <laughs> I love social deduction, but I don't like co-ops. My name's no, Jimothy. again, it's a... Like if, it's a, if you find the right group in the right game, right in the right circumstances, and here's the thing: I get there's a lot to that. There's an absolute lot to like line up just right, and I think more often than not, you're probably not going to get it unless you just have a people a group of people who are really into it. But there are um, exceptions to the rule, and I think it's like if it's a co-op game that's fast or quick that can like it can end. Sure, at, it's like cool. We tried it. We didn't win. Whatever. That's fine. Like kites. Uh, Castle Panic. I like Castle Panic too. It's like, I don't know. So, just something about it. It's like, the there no, time, the there's, so much, there's so much stuff happening at one time. Nobody really has much time to be like, okay, you do this. You do this. I'm going to do this. If you do this, can this, can this help me? It's like, Everything's happening at one point. You just got to kind of figure out what's going to work. Especially kites, dude. You put a card down, flip something. There's no, that's it. Yeah. yeah. There's no, oh, I needed to do, too bad. Move on. Pick a different, time is running out. Pick a different kite. <laughs> flip the time. And then yep. like Castle Panic, you have so many enemies at one point that you also don't know where they're going to come from at the end of the round or beginning or whatever it is that it's just like, you can't really prepare. You just got to kind of roll with the flow and what happens, happens. Roll with the flow? Go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, there you go. Stop, well, drop, I, pop, pop. I can drop it. Don't you like um, Race for the Raft? I've never played it. No, Sebastian. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's good, yeah. And that part of it is like you're not allowed to see other people's stuff, mm-hmm. so you kind of just go. And for the time investment... You either pass it or fail it in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's very, can be very short, depending on who you're playing with. Yeah. No, and, and I get that, because, like, I think, I think Dwayne, I think you've expressed this, too, about, like, the idea that sometimes in co-op games, the additional feeling that they, everyone failed because of your decisions that were accidental, mm-hmm. right? It's one thing if it's an agent of chaos and you're like, I love doing this, that. Right? But it's another thing if you're trying your hardest and something that you did is attributed to be the reason why you lost. Then you're like, well, okay. That doesn't feel mm-hmm. great. And then also deep down inside, being completely honest, I want selfish. To mm. Like, I, I want, want to, win. to win. I want to I smash wanna, you. <laughs> I want to play against players, not the game. It's I like, want to put your face in the metaphorical dirt. And it's like not being like, screw you. I'm better than you. It's just like I want to play. Like, I want to play against you. No, it's that for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't win. I feel okay? like I feel like <laughs> I feel like losing or winning to somebody like just feels different than winning or losing to the game. Yeah. Like you win against the game or you lose against, you win against the game. Woo, we did it. You lose against the game. Damn, that's tough. But it's just like, if you win against somebody, it's just like, like I'm, I'm pretty sure when you beat Kenzie sometimes, you're like, fuck yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and when you lose, you're like, it just makes the, every, every like streak of losses I go on, which is, <laughs> that time, that next time that I win, I hit the gritty, you know, because that's just such a buildup of like, 
It's my time, baby. I finally brought it. You know. <laughs> all, so the, all three yeah. red meeples up there. All, hey, is it three? I think there's four. I think it's four. Oh, it's four. There's four. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> For reference, Kenzie has eight. I have two. I have zero. Yeah, even Kev has half of the freaking ones <laughs> that I have. And he he's played two of those Those games. are the only two games that you've played. That's why he has No, that's two. not true. I'm pretty sure I played another one that you won or she won. I, I'm, per, I'm pretty sure. I would have to go look at it. I, I could swear. Kanban. Kanban. I lost Kanban. I didn't play. Yeah. Yeah. I knew there was at least one other you one. You also lost. I did. Yeah. <laughs> There's no losing meeples up there. <laughs> yeah, there's no. Imagine you lose, your meeple comes down. Oh, God. That'd take forever. forever. That throws everything off. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, that finishes whatever topic we, that was, I think. Trivia time? Trivia time. Trivia. All right, boys. We're following the same formula. Three questions. Different format of question, though. By the way, you can't see any of that stuff when you hold it up there with the... With the like the video, this is a crudely drawn thumb. They can't see that. I guarantee that's not going to show up. All right, well, then I won't show you. Goodness this, this. gracious, that is <laughs> gross. <laughs> Grab my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you got for us, D-Weezy? All right. Number one. This is multiple choice. I know this one. Between what years... Does Brass Birmingham take place? 1670, A, 1675 to 1775, B, 1770 to 1870, or C, 1650 to 1700? Say them again. Uh, A, 1675 to 1775, B, 1770 to 1870, or C, 1650 to 1700. This is my goddamn game. Okay. Watch me get it wrong, though. <laughs> That'd be really funny. I got it. Okay. It's B for Brass Birmingham. B. It is B. It's the Industrial Revolution. 17 boom, something. Boom, boom. That is not what I remember. I remember the board has a 17 something and an 18 something. <laughs> so I was hoping that you only did said one answer. <laughs> That had a 17 and an 18, and you did only say one answer that had a 17 and 18. Damn. One point for each of us. Should have thrown a D in there. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, you should have thrown the D in there. Ooh. Ew. Swallow it up. All right. Number two. True or false? There are exactly two penguin species in wingspan. Riveting gameplay. Good right. boys? False. Also false. It is false. There is only one penguin. Which is? The little blue. Hey! Yeah. That should have been a boner point. Should get the uh, emperor penguin in the Antarctic one, right? Should be. The empy. Should be. Empy Gwen. Maybe some Adelis too. Some Adelis? All right. Some hello. Dude, I hope you got something for this tiebreaker here. It's cold. This last one is going to be closest without going over. I've been stuck in Antarctica. Without going over? Without going over. Laying Fuck eggs and bullshit. dancing here. <laughs> Go ahead. How many? $12 billion. <laughs> How many Blood on the Clock Tower characters are there? Across all scripts? All Official? characters. Official. Just to give you a hint, there are more characters than there are in the base three scripts. Are you shitting me? There's there's three base scripts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's Sex and that. Violence, Trouble Brewing, and Bad Moon Rising. And there's more I feel official ones. Bad mm -hmm. moon and you're not going to tell us how many other scripts there are, are you? I feel well, there's away. thousands of scripts, or there's official like hundreds scripts. of scripts. Official scripts. No. So Bye. that's what I'm saying. This is official, published. By the publisher, scripts and then characters. We should right? have known he was going to do something. <laughs> we should have. We should have. <laughs> I also didn't know he was the question master tonight, so I didn't know to prepare. I didn't know that either. Um, 
so what is what is the what's the defining factor here? So what's is it? it, it it's just official, hundred percent official. Always asking mm-hmm. extra questions. Official characters. All right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with something and hope to God. Without going over or just closest? Closest without going over. Damn. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's funny because that's exactly what I was gonna write, <laughs> and I was like, mm, I don't know. He's probably gonna win. Sixty nine. There are fifty. 115 characters. Let's go. In Blood on the Clock Tower. <laughs> That's wild. I chose the meme number, 69. And you won. And I won. Congratulations. Victory is mine. 115 characters. 115. Official. Official. That's wild. Official. Um, go ahead and fact check that. And if Dwayne is wrong, leave a big old fat comment that says, hey, you, you, you don't suck. even know how to play Clock Tower. You're I bet you don't. Clock I bet you have ever. never been GM of Clock Tower ever in your stinky SM. life. Hmm? ST. ST. Storyteller. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Game Masters trademark sorry. copyrighted. Sorry. And with that, sorry. we're going to call it at the end of the episode. Sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you didn't get swallowed up. Damn at it. Point in this episode. I was going to say Sebastian really swallowed Whoa. up that win. Oh, there oh, you go. That's a go. good one. Yeah. That's better. Pretend you didn't hear mine. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you we did, we should be keeping a record, by the way. Of I'm two and I'm two and I'm two and zero. I've won both of mine. Yeah, because you won last. Mo- you won the one I did. Yeah, and you won the one he did. I just don't have a win. Who? Yeah, and I beat. No, no, you beat me. One and zero. I'm zero. Zero and two. I'm zero and three. This is oh, this is three. No, no, oh, this I is won only the my first second one. one because you did your first. Oh, one, and then you were one, and he won, and then I did the next one. Oh, it was the tiebreaker that I won on. That's what it was. Did you won, and then he won. You won this one, so you're one, two, and zero. Oh. Nice, nice, loser. The doctor over here. Okay, loser, <laughs> loser. Loser. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, not only are we going to post more Battle of the Games content, we have some other ideas in the works. So, yeah, tune in for those. Follow the Instagram. Check out all of our posts that we post. Dwayne is also really active on his stuff. I don't know what this guy does. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you post? Wine. F- food. Mostly food, right? Some games. He does. Po- you do post a lot on your story. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the story. Which is what I, I, I think I, I need to get better at posting, posting. Because I post everything on my story and then I forget about it. To me, it's one of those things about permanence. So like... I, Object permanence? Yeah. I, I don't think that like the things that I've got going on are worthy of like being around forever. Like I, He I doesn't have to post a, a picture of his food on his... On his right. Partners. If I cook a meal, I take a picture of it, I'm proud of it. Throw it up there. Like, look, 24 hours. You see it? That's all you ever need to see it. You don't ever need to see it again. It's gone. Right? That's, that's But how are you ever going to be a national flu blogger? Flu blogger. Flu blogger. Hinga dinga dargen. Bye, everybody. Bjorke, bjorke, bjorke. Oh, my gosh.